Hello. So today we have a Sunto Traversa watch that has a problem that its display is very dim. <clears throat> it's already contrast is at 100% and it's barely visible. Uh, lighting is not helping that much either. And yeah. So now we will turn off the watch and try to disassemble it, see what we can find it in there. To turn it off, you just press the upper buttons to get into the service menu. It's something like 11 seconds you have to hold it. Okay, and then we go into action and power off. Do you want? Yes. Okay. Now what we have is a T5 Torx. Let's see it. Maybe a little bit more light. This is the first time when I'm disassembling this watch, so I'm not sure what to find or what to expect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one connector here and that leading connector is here. Okay, so what we have in here? Not sure if it's possible to look into anything as this looks to be somehow welded in place. But okay, well, let's see what we have in here. We have battery that doesn't have a lot of information. And I think it is more not not strongly, but it is glued on some double-sided tape. And this is a temperature sensor, or should be a temperature sensor. And in here, what we have. Some contacts. So there is something underneath it, but I don't need to go that deep. <clears throat> Let's see here. Can we disassemble it a little bit more, or it's a all in one unit? So this frame wants to go loose somehow.
Ne? So, yeah. Yeah, so. And this is the board. And this is the screen. And not much to see. Sadly. But let's see what about the board. Yeah, so it seems everything is covered under the, these shields and they are somehow thermically welded in place so that's a real bummer you can get cannot get into this inside of this watch but you have a big fuse here so some components are exposed but very little but so let's see okay under microscope these balls looked like soldering balls so i tried to heat it up with uh, soldering iron and it was very easy to um, touch it up as you can see even the shielding uh, got got damaged uh, by soldering iron so i assume it's quite a soft metal uh, not sure what kind of metal it is and then what procedure is to take it off but it seems that balls are something like soldering balls so if someone knows how to proceed with that kind of shielding please leave a co comment additionally i saw on the back side these uh, three pins on one side and one on the other uh, these seem to be uh, connections to the antennas here on the frame you can see uh, these printed or painted uh, antennas that connect connect with uh, these these points and then there is one small pin not sure what's function of it uh, it is but uh, maybe something like a safety function if you take off the shielding uh, the, the pcb knows that it's uh, disconnected or so then on the uh, display i found uh, um, uh, that on the flex uh, ribbon cable there are three uh, small capacitors so i try to heat it up as there is uh, one theory that when you heat it up the uh, condensers they shortly regain their value but this didn't brought any any uh, visible effect maybe it's because i heat it up quite a uh, small amount of time but uh, again when i measured the three capacitors one of them was uh, had a smaller value as uh, the other two so i decided to exchange this one capacitor i think on, on the circuit it had uh, 8, uh, 0.8 uh, microfarad and all the other ones uh, had one microfarad value so i tried to decided to exchange it sadly my camera didn't pick it up uh, the first uh, part of the desoldering so here we you will see the second part of uh, soldering a new capacitor to the uh, in, in, in its previous place so for this repair you will need definitely need a microscope as these capacitors are very very small they are if i'm not mistaken 0.08 on 1.6 millimeters uh, so and then yeah, you will need a very small tip uh, soldering iron to to not to damage any other of uh, yeah, ribbon cable or anything else and yeah in principle i exchanged the c3 capacitor with one microfarad uh, value capacitor uh, as as uh, previous uh, on circuit showed uh, 0.8 microfarad mm, but i'm still thinking that maybe even higher value could be uh, good as as when i had the contrast on 100 percent i think it's 
still not not really the same as it was uh, before. So this is maybe for a future update. And yeah, um, in principle, that's it. You just desolder the C3 capacitor and solder a new one in its place. After the soldering, uh, just clean it with isopropyl alcohol and that's it. We're ready for testing. So assemble everything back and let's see what came out of it. So the condenser uh, exchange helped. The display contrast is now much much better but i do get this refresh rate visibility or something like this so i'm not sure if this was already there and i just couldn't see it because of the low contrast or or is this a error that disconnected with the with the first repair <laughs> 